What is Stoicism? Stoicism is an ancient Greek philosophy which teaches us how we can develop self-control and fortitude in order to overcome some destructive emotions. This was founded by Zeno of Citium in the early 3rd century BC. And this particular philosophy is, you know, something that talks a lot about practicality in terms of how you can manage your emotions well. It is not uh, something that you cannot practice. It is not very ideal way of seeing things. But as I just said, it is the most practical way of viewing things. And uh, as in how you know about Stoicism, you read a lot about Stoicism, you start feeling that you are gaining answers to a lot of questions which were kind of unanswered internally. So in today's video, I am picking up five such quotes from Stoicism, which were quoted by the Stoic philosophers. And I'm trying to relate these quotes to the homemaking job that we undertake and it is not just confined to the way we conduct ourselves as homemakers but these quotes also can be applied on a very personal or you could say an emotional level because i firmly believe homemaking is not just about cooking and cleaning it it has got a lot to do about you know the way we conduct ourselves because we bring about the changes in the family we are responsible for so many things in the family when it comes to uh, the nurturing of uh, emotions and uh, creating that kind of peaceful environment at home so if we have knowledge about all the things uh, that can really enrich empower us on a mental level then why not so on my channel i try to come up with contents which cater to the needs of our mental health and emotional health as well. Hi, I'm Vaishnavi and my channel is all about homemaking motivation. And as I said, anything and everything that is related to this particular topic, I try to come up with a content on that. So if you are new on this channel and you like such kind of contents, then please do consider to subscribe to my channel. And if you're already a part of this beautiful community of homemakers, then please welcome back. So without any further ado, let's start today's video. We suffer more often in imagination than in a reality. Worrying about potential household problems or tasks can often be more stressful than the tasks themselves. Focus on taking action and addressing issues as they arise rather than imagining worst case scenarios. This is a very natural tendency in every human being. Actually, uh, in my opinion, we are not supposed to even treat it as a natural thing because this is kind of negative and anything that is negative cannot be treated as natural. But then let's face the fact that things like stress, anxiety, we nowadays we call it natural. It is obvious we will get tense, we will get stressed. But I'm of the firm opinion that anything that is negative should not be treated as natural or normal. We need to understand why this is happening. And it, if it is happening repeatedly, then what is the exact cause? So what we do is we do not wait for the particular thing to actually happen, be it wrong or good, whatever it is in life. We start imagining things in a way that we already start suffering that. Whether the outcome is going to be a good one or we are going to face some, um, you know, failures or not such a very uh, favorable condition, whatever it is, we do not have the patience to wait for the outcome or we are not even uh, kind of, you know, sometimes we are not even mentally prepared to give that kind of effort so that we can think about something good about a particular task. And this happens with almost all of us. We start suffering in our imagination itself. Imagination, although it is such a beautiful uh, term, such a beautiful thing to understand and experience, sometimes we misuse it. That is, we start imagining things and we start creating the suffering in our minds. So this beautiful quote just tells us that it is important that we try and understand that the problem may not be as big as what we have created mentally already. The suffering also we have started. 
so whatever is the future let us not give scope to such kind of imaginations within us which will cause the kind of suffering now if i have to give another example this can be a little you know something that we deal with the mundane task you may not think that it is on an emotional level but you know if you can connect it then you can connect it with emotional level as well it's like about the tasks that we take up during the day now there is a particular task which i feel is too much so i just start imagining things that if i start off then it will take too much time am i really able to afford that kind of time because i have other work which really has to be done on an emergency or an uh, you know uh, it has to be done on a daily basis and it has to be done um, which has a nature of emergency basically as i said and we start calculating things in our own mind that no i may not be able to take up the task it it is too big for me so what are we doing is we are uh, imagining things already and we are already suffering the consequence of what we are not you know not even we are able to take it up but we are already suffering the consequence of that so that was a very small example but this is what we do be it the organizing of the closet we know the closet is already messy but we are not ready to take the primary action of at least starting you know step by step so all these things uh, it, this happens on a very mundane level on a very day to day basis but still this really affects us on a mental level also that is uh, we don't want to wait uh, for the result to be uh you know uh, to be unfolded right in front of us we would want to just anticipate and make our own conclusions and start suffering also for that so this quote is very beautiful because it says that you don't have to suffer in your imagination already you need to have that kind of um, smartness to understand the process and uh, give in your efforts give your 100% to it and then the rest you can just leave it for the kind of hard work that you have already put in the key is to keep company only with people who uplift you whose presence calls forth your best surround yourself with family and friends who bring positivity and support to your home this creates a nurturing and uplifting environment essential for harmonious household to be really honest nowadays the kind of competition that uh, takes place between any two people no matter what their age gender whatever it is there is this, there is this element of competition everywhere you take up anything there is competition and although you're not that kind of a person who would uh, want to get into a competition or who is trying to prove you know uh, herself better than the other but still you're dragged into this you know it happens that way so what happens is also uh, during all these things that's happening in the background you also start becoming harsh towards yourself being self critical is good of course but at times we also become harsh on ourselves so when there are already so many people who are right there sitting and nicely waiting for you know uh, to judge you or to kind of um, evaluate your performance as a homemaker or any other roles and responsibilities that have that you have already taken so i don't know why you are on a self help mode because there are so many people who are already there who are very happy to criticize you so let's understand one thing that you know whatever you take up and no matter how well you do in something there will be people who will be telling no this is not good this is not correct you could have done it better constructive criticism is always welcome but there are people who are readily there to judge you and evaluate you and that is kind of you know emotionally it can affect you in many ways so when you read this quote it is so beautiful to understand that it is at that time that we need to have the knowledge that we need to surround ourselves with family and friends who really mean good to us you know they are so unconditional and they are so giving that they only want the betterment in us they only want prosperity and progress to be uh, 
witnessed by them so we need to be wise enough to surround ourselves with such people with such good souls because end of the day when you are being encouraged and you are being fed that kind of positivity into your mind you can achieve things that you never have imagined also so it is very important and when you are positive and when you are you know in that kind of right uh, zone or in that right kind of mood you will be able to create a positive environment at your own place so yes it becomes very important that we realize that uh, you know that we should not take them for granted such beautiful souls in our life we should not take them for granted because they are here to kind of uplift us whenever we are feeling very low and they do all this for nothing in return they they have that kind of unconditional approach towards that so always make sure that you surround yourself with such people and uh, the criticizers the people who want to judge they will be doing their job very well and you don't have to really you know uh, give that kind of attention or your time or energy all you need to do is stay positive and create that kind of positive environment in your house because you are responsible for bringing up your own home the best revenge is not to be like your enemy in the context of homemaking this means not responding to negativity or conflict within the household with similar negativity instead maintain your composure and approach situations with understanding and patience the other day i was reading one article and the title was so uh, attractive for me that yeah i had to finish the entire article because the title said how to stay classy in a trashy society <laughs> fine this is something that we all are facing right although we want to remain classy although we want to you know uh, have that kind of dignity and uh, not stoop down to anybody else's level there are people in our lives that uh, you know they are they have made up their mind that you know they have to influence us with their negativity this particular quote beautifully tells us that it is not necessary and the best revenge is to not be like them when you know it is negative when you know that you are hurt by their words or you are hurt by their behavior why would you inculcate that even if you have to take revenge with such people it is not wise to stoop down to that level so this quote is so beautiful on an emotional level it is beneficial because you are maintaining your calm and composure and you are staying polite and you are staying peaceful and you are not allowing them or you are not giving them the permission to spoil your mood because your emotions your mental health and your mood is yours nobody has a role to play in that or nobody has authority to change it spoil it whatever so yes this particular quote is very beautiful if you understand it properly and um, as i said whenever you are dealing with such negativity around you uh, or it can be any challenging situation that you have to face during the day at that time if you exhibit qualities in yourself like you know that of calmness uh, staying peaceful staying very uh, you know showing that kind of uh, composure in you and having that kind of compassion not to others maybe but you have to show the compassion to yourself because you cannot cut a sorry figure after you know stooping down to that level right so compassion is also important and uh, yeah these beautiful lines are so um, it's kind of awakening because it tells us that you don't have to deal with negativity or conflicts by getting down to that level of negativity instead try and deal it with complete calm and composure in your mind and have the peacefulness within you so that you will not regret at your own reactions and as a homemaker it becomes very important for us to inculcate this quality because we here are going to be witnessed by our own family members right so if we do not have that kind of um, calmness to be displayed then um, 
you know it it is possible that we may not gain that kind of respect from our own people so come what may let us try and maintain that peacefulness within us and uh, yeah the best revenge is not to be like them not to be like your enemy and never get into that kind of negativity or into that kind of conflict be it internal or, or external don't get into any conflict at all and stay peaceful he who is brave is free embrace the challenges of home making with courage and resilience whether it's dealing with unexpected issues or daily chores facing them bravely allows you to maintain a sense of freedom and control over your environment this quote again is very beautiful it talks a lot about getting out of your own comfort zone many a times we feel that uh, we cannot take up certain things it is only our mind that is you know confining us in that kind of boundary whereas we may have the potential to actually take up to actually go about it but sometimes you know we paralyze our own selves because of our own thought process so these beautiful lines they are so powerful actually which says that you need to show that kind of bravery you need to show that kind of courage in order to achieve something in life as long as you stay in your own comfort zone you will never know how successful you can become or you will never know what kind of tasks you can actually take up so whether you're a homemaker you're a professional or uh, you know it's, it's it's on a very emotional level that you need to take up these lines and that is you need to show that kind of bravery and courage you need to face certain things you need to um, you know confront with your own emotions you need to question yourself why you can't do certain things or you need to also um, build yourself in a way that you will be able to take up certain tasks which otherwise you were thinking you will never be able to do just because you were not brave enough to take it up if it is not right do not do it if it is not true do not say it uphold integrity and honesty in your household make decisions and communicate in a way that aligns with your values and principles fostering trust and respect among family members what i'm going to say right now may not sound very pleasant to all of us but let's face the fact that most of us are people pleasers yes we are sometimes really afraid to say no to certain things it's not like uh, we are uh, afraid to you know confront some people but just that we are not comfortable in assertively telling or setting our boundaries at times so when we have this kind of uh, you could say weakness in us because people pleasing is not a good thing being a people pleaser will always give us a kind of loss um, on every level so we need to understand that people pleasing is not a kind of uh, good quality in us it is something that we need to really work upon and really come out of it so many a times we come across situations where we feel it is not right but still we do it just because we are pleasing people and uh, we also feel it is not the correct thing to say but still we say it so these lines this particular quote is very wise and we need to understand that if it is not right then you have to stand up for yourself and you should say that no i cannot take it up right so it is also a way of uh, displaying integrity and showing that kind of respect to yourself by setting boundaries so this particular quote is very very uh, practical in a way because we need to understand certain things in life which is we need to give that kind of respect and dignity to our own uh, you know way of thinking our decisions should be made in a way that we do not have to uh, later on contradict our own views we should not be in a position uh, wherein you know we just did it because we wanted to please you know people around us uh, maybe if you're not happy about it and you still do it it will not give you any kind of uh, peacefulness in your life so these lines are indeed beautiful we need to try and maintain this kind of integrity and also the kind of respect 
so that we can create that kind of environment in our house wherein we are not pretending or we are not trying to you know be there as people pleasers you can convey your own things in a very assertive way but staying polite it's not that you're going to pick up a fight with anybody so yeah these lines are really beautiful and we need to read these lines again and again if we are that you know if we are fitting into that category of people pleasers please let me know how did you like this content today and uh, i have been reading a lot about stoicism and it is as i said uh, it it is more you know having a practical approach rather than uh, you know quoting some things which is just in our own imagination and which cannot be implemented it is not something like that each and every quote that you will read whenever you have to you know uh, read about stoicism it is like uh, you as i said in the beginning it kind of answers most of your questions like anything that you are dealing with in terms of your anxiety or uh, for that matter uh, when it comes to qualities like you know uh, self control or setting boundaries all these lines uh, which were told by the stoic philosophers really it can help us in a way so i would highly recommend do your own research try and find out what is stoicism and uh, try and find out uh, beautiful uh, quotes given by uh, the stoic philosophers i can really assure you that you're going to have a good time understanding and uh, gaining that kind of knowledge so yeah that is the intention of the content today i hope you liked it and also um, as i always say please share your feedback in the comments below and that's all about it in today's content until next time uh, take care of yourself and a happy homemaking always thank you for watching